as much money as possible to customers. The futures industry took considerable pride that the regulated futures markets had come through the financial crisis with relatively few problems. Tragically, we can no, no longer make that claim. These events are a stark reminder that we must never lose sight of the most fundamental and basic purpose of our regulatory system, protecting customer funds. FIA is pleased that the regulators have adopted and implemented many of our MF Global recommendations. Post-MF Global, FIA formed a special expert committee to evaluate necessary changes to the customer protection framework. In February, we released our initial report, which called on FCMs to ensure that they meet the highest industry standards for protecting customer funds. For example, we recommended that FCMs, one, report daily customer segregated balances and twice monthly how customer funds are invested under permitted CFTC rules. Two, annually certify that there are no material weaknesses in their internal controls and policies. Three, that they maintain appropriate separations of duties among individuals responsible for customer funds protections. And four, that we develop a certified training program for chief financial officers and other relevant employees. In addition to our support of the NFA and CME's recent changes to improve customer protections, the FIA also generally supports the MF Global Trustees recommendations, which are consistent with many of these industry proposals and include studying the feasibility of a targeted insurance fund. Even with all that's been done, more is needed, and FIA is actively working on such improvements. First, FIA strongly supports immediately authorizing regulators with the ability to independently review and confirm customer segregated balances electronically across every FCM at any time. Second, FIA supports the creation of an automated confirmation system for customer segregated funds that will provide regulators with timely information that customer funds are secure. FIA participated in last week's CFTC Technology Advisory Committee meeting that discussed such technology solutions, and there are several viable technology systems worthy of near-term consideration. Third, FIA supports the creation of an FCM information portal that will centrally house firm-specific financial information regarding FCMs so customers can more readily access material information when evaluating FCMs. And fourth, FIA recommends that FCMs publicly certify as soon as practical that they are in compliance with FIA's initial recommendations and that these controls are independently reviewed and audited. I was also encouraged by Chairman Gensler's remarks that the Commission is adopting many of these sensible industry recommendations that I have discussed today. The basic blocking and tackling of regulation depends on ensuring that firms have proper risk controls and systems in place with independent auditing and verification by regulators. At a time of great regulatory change, we can't lose sight of these oversight fundamentals. In conclusion, the embezzlement at Peregrine Financial appears to have been missed by a generation of regulators at both the federal and self-regulatory levels. This, along with MF Global, is unacceptable by any measure. There is no easy solution, no magic bullet that will bring back the lost trust from these incidents. Instead, it's going to take time and hard work across the industry to implement these improvements to earn back the public's trust. Customers deserve better, and FIA is wholly committed to winning back their confidence by ensuring they have the highest degrees of protections going forward.